Coming up on Around Kern County, you can make a difference in our community by joining our public safety departments. We're sharing details on the Career Expo you don't want to miss. And July is Purple Ribbon Month. We're sharing why you should look before you lock when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. July is Purple Ribbon Month, and Kern County Human Services is educating our community on the importance of keeping kids safe in and around cars. Here's why you should always look before you lock. During a warm, sunny day like today, temperature inside a motor vehicle can reach up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. No one is made for that type of heat, but it is especially dangerous for young children whose body temperatures rise three to five times faster than in adults. This type of heat can lead to serious injury or death. In the US, it is far more common than we would like to see. From 1996 to 2002, we have had 175 deaths, and in 2023 alone, so far, we have had eight deaths. but there are several forms of prevention to keep something like this from happening. Some prevention methods include never leaving your child alone in or around a vehicle, or placing a child's diaper in the front seat to remind you that your child is in the back. Other methods you can use is placing your phone or home keys or laptop in the back seat. Nowadays, they make a baby car seat alarm and monitor you can clip on the baby's or install in your car. Always lock your car, even at home, and make it a habit to look before you lock. By November 2023, the Secretary must issue a final rule that requires all new passenger vehicles to be equipped with a system that alerts the driver to check rear designated seating positions for children or after the vehicle engine or motor is turned off. In 2001, the governor of California signed into law Senate Bill 255 called Caitlin's Law. The bill was named after Caitlin Marie Russell, who died after being left alone in a motor vehicle at the age of six months by her caregiver. This law made it illegal for a child six years of age or younger to be left alone unattended in a motor vehicle without the supervision of someone at least 12 years of age or older. For more information, visit kcdhs.org or kidsincars.org. As triple digit temperatures are on the rise, we want to remind you that cooling centers are officially open for the summer. During these warmer months, cooling centers provide a safe haven for people at risk of extreme heat. They're run by our Kern County Department of Aging and Adult Services and funded through a grant from PG&E. Cooling centers are open from 1 in the afternoon until 8 in the evenings if temperatures reach certain thresholds across our county. If you're heading out to one of these locations, be sure to bring snacks, games, and books. And if you need transportation to a cooling center, just call 211. To access our cooling center dashboard, which is updated daily, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. And for more information, you can call Aging and Adult Services at 800-510-2020. All year long, we've been showcasing Kern County Public Health's and Behavioral Health's and Recovery Services Grounded in Health campaign. Each month works to educate our community about finding the balance and importance in taking care of both our mental and physical health. July is all about healthy caregivers as we support our residents who are the backbone of long-term care in homes across Kern County. As caregivers, we need to be putting ourselves first. We need to take time out for ourselves. We need to make sure that we are keeping ourselves healthy because when we are healthy, we are at our prime to provide care for somebody else. So we need to make sure that we're keeping our preventative health care appointments. We need to be eating healthy. We need to be exercising. We need to be getting appropriate amounts of rest. We're all we have. <laughs> we have to take care of our vehicle that is keeping us going and keeping us moving through the day. 
When we take care of ourselves, we show up in the world, we show up for others in a much stronger, healthier way. Public Health and current BHRS say being a caregiver can take a physical and emotional toll. So it's important to make wellness a priority and care for yourself too. It might mean taking five minutes and having just a quiet meditative moment. It might mean making yourself something that you really enjoy eating and eating it in some peace and quiet. It might actually mean doing something with someone else and spending time with somebody who you really connect with that helps you feel good. Wherever you need to start, whatever's gonna fill you up, it's about the quality for you and what meets your needs. You can learn more about tips and tricks to live your happiest and healthiest life by visiting kerngroundedinhealth.com. This summer, you can get a chance to get to know our public safety departments and join the Kern County team. Anna Marie Odo has more on how you can get involved. If you're looking for a meaningful career where you can make a difference in our community, then join us for our Public Safety Career Expo on Saturday, July 22nd from 9 in the morning until 12 noon. Job seekers will meet with staff from Kern County Fire, Probation, and the Sheriff's Office at our County Administrative Center located at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield. Our human resources team will also be on hand to help interested applicants test and apply for open positions. People interested in working for the Sheriff's Office can test for Deputy Sheriff Trainee or Detention's Deputy Sheriff at 10 a.m. on the third floor of our administrative building. In addition to sworn positions, all departments will be hiring for support staff vacancies. For more information, just visit our website at kerncounty.com. We can't wait for you to join our team. And we're ending today with how you can get rid of your hazardous waste this month with the help of Kern County Public Works. They're holding multiple collection events throughout the month of July. On Saturday, July 15th, you can drop off your hazardous waste items at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also get rid of your waste on Wednesday, July 19th at the Glenville Transfer Station and Saturday, July 29th at the Lebec Transfer Station. People in our community are encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around their homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information on these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.